Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. This is another episode of REOP. It's your boy, Mr. Jefferson. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Ampa Valley. And we got a special guest with us, Chopper with a K. What's going on, my boy? What's hey, happening, man. man? Hey, round of applause for Chop, man. Yes, sir. We got another, we got another one, man. He said this is his first interview, man. So, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, the last good. three or four niggas said, yeah, this is our first interview. They can, oh, so they come in with the pros, man. The, the hottest podcast in Jacksonville. So you come might on. as well just come out the gate with us, man. Appreciate Talk about y'all having me, man. Yes, sir, man. We appreciate I, you coming through, huh? Take the torch. <laughs> what you been up to, my brother? Shit, working, working on some um, new music videos. All so, right, this oh my fault. Nah, I was. I think we was about to say the same thing, honestly. But um, I'm looking at your YouTube, man, and uh, you go crazy with the videos. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I try to keep it going. With Ton of uploads, yeah. Yeah, I try to stay in their face with it. Shit, you got more. I feel like you got more videos than any nigga that we interviewed. Pretty for much. Real? <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I don't though, even like, realize how many I don't drop. Yeah, dog, you you killing this shit, man. <laughs> And you got it. You got the dreads and what made you? Why you cut your? That's my first question, my nigga. Why you cut your hair, man? <laughs> Spare the moment. <laughs> you just woke up one day, and said, "Fuck, it, I'm gonna cut the nah, hair." Nah, for real. Nigga missed the low cut, huh? Yeah, I feel it. New, new look. Uh, yeah. Son. I might grow them back. I still got them in a the bag. I could throw them bitches right back in. If I wanted <laughs> to. Yeah, you just got to disappear for a couple months. Yeah, man. Like, Jimmy don't post Butler no that shit. Pop out the blue with them bitches. I don't compare him with Jimmy <laughs> Butler, bro. Jimmy <laughs> Butler <laughs> shit was oh, weird, nah, bro. That nigga shit was crazy. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> shit insane. That nigga bro. Jimmy Butler shit was yak, bro. <laughs> that <laughs> did that. <laughs> And you know it's crazy. I don't know if y'all know this, cause so like Jimmy Butler, he wore his shit like the media day. Yeah, and he done like took a him bad off. bitch. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga was wildin', bro. He wore the oh, media. He took, him out. he took him out, but the thing is, the picture you use for media day, that's We're the so picture they're gonna use the whole oh, yeah. year. So yeah. like anytime they do the stats and shit, the, the side by side, it's a nigga with these long ass yak dreads. Yeah, like, dreads. Yeah, like he ain't even got no shit no more. That shit like that nigga a master troll, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's trolling to the next level. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I guess he took him out because I felt he had like backlash or whatnot. Because I'm th- pretty sure they were probably getting that nigga a hard time or whatever. Man, I know shit. They were, especially, especially Instagram, social media. Oh, yeah, they, they, I seen that shit everywhere. Yeah, they killed that nigga for, for the first moment he wore them shit. Yeah, so first day he walked in, I would have been flaming him. Yeah, man. But let's, let's talk about Chop, man. We talking about <laughs> fucking Jimmy Butler, man. All right, so uh, you just dropped a single, man. Yeah, yeah. With twenty four yeah, hours, man, that's that's a big deal right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. indeed. Shout out twenty four. How that came oh. about? Shit, he called me one night. Oh, y'all heard that? Twenty four hours called that called him. Yeah, he called me. He was like, um, send, send me a song with an open verse on. It. Shit, I just went in my notes, sent him a song. Sent me that bit back like a day later. Day That's what's up. Twenty four hours been going for a minute. Um, I can't remember what he went by before twenty four hours. I think it was like Royce, Royce, Royce Reezy, Roy, Royce Reezy, oh, uh, yeah, uh, something like that. But um, yeah, man. Um, I was tapped in with him back then. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but he been doing his thing. He had a, a lot of success with Wiz and whatnot. Yeah. So. That's what's up. So he yeah, hit you up. So that feature. means he was like familiar with your music. Was like, yeah, we met through my brother, Seti. You feel me? Mm. So that's how that all came together. Bad, bad, bad. So he was like tapped in with your shit. He was fucking with you. Yeah, yeah. Hit you sure. up, man. How how you felt when you when he had hit you up asking for the song? Cause that's shit. a like we said. That's a big feature right there. Yeah, shit. I was like, say less, shit. That's big, you feel me? That was love for him. He ain't have to go out his way, you feel me? Right, and he just hit you out the blue, no charge, nothing. Yeah, nah. yeah that's yeah. all love. Off of love, yeah. Was, was it one of those situations where, like, you was about to hit him up and he just, like, beat you to the punch? Nah, I wasn't even thinking about doing the song with him. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, we was just cool, just on some, you feel me? Like, yeah, man. Music shit. And that's love. He gave you the he he gave you the sh- the verse and whatnot, and then like y'all did the video too. So that's dope. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. yeah. What some of the feedback you getting from the song? Shit, good. Shit, everybody saying, "Boy, this this one of the hardest shit you drop." Yeah. It, the video too. 
Paper Trail Snap. I was just about to say, man, shout out to Paper Trail. Yeah, Paper Trail have been Paper doing Trails. it for a minute, so. Yeah, I've been on, me, me and bro been in tune with, with each other for a minute, too. Yeah, Paper Trail is hard. Yeah, for sure. Way back to the boosie days. Nah, for sure. For sure. So let me ask you this, man. How long have you uh, actually been rapping? Jump straight into things. Um, shit. Like rapping, taking it serious? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Like 2020. Okay. Yeah, 2020. And then when did you start rapping? Oh, um, shit. I was a jit for uh, sixth grade. Fifth grade, I used to write raps in my notes and shit. Yeah, just to, you feel me? That shit was fun to me. Yeah. So um, at sixth grade, like what? Like who were you listening to? Shit, Wayne, Gucci, Gucci, Fifty Cent. Shit. Let me ask you this. Wale. Huh. Wale. Uh, yeah, hey, don't say Wale yeah, in front of him, man. Hey, yeah, I used to live in Maryland. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the Wale. Early. You should have seen. You should have seen his face when you said Wale. <laughs> you fuck with Wale? Man, no, but <laughs> <laughs> this nigga yeah. trolling right nah, now, man. I'm fucking with him, bro. <laughs> why you don't fuck? With, why you don't fuck with, bro? Man, that nigga be. Tra- I, I just ain't a big fan, honestly, I feel, personally. Yeah, yeah. I ain't a big fan of him, yeah. so. I don't really listen and to there's no now, disrespect but. yeah but he ain't uh never piqued my interest but when he was ki- when he first when Wally first came out he was rapping his ass so yeah I when he understand. when he first came yeah, out I give you that out. I give you that <coughs> yeah now he do like the, the, the poetry <coughs> oh, shit. shit I can't stand that shit because that nigga show think he like prolific with it. <laughs> be like nigga, you ain't said nothing the salute does. You said Wayne. We gonna we gonna ignore Exclude Wale for just Wale, yeah. but, uh, Gucci <laughs> Wayne. Yeah, around that time, Wayne was at his Wayne was Wayne like at, was his, at peak, his best. Man. Yeah. That's really who I was. Who I had in my MP3 for uh, for real. What was so, your favorite Wayne project? My fault. Nah, you good. Between Carter Two, Carter Dedication. My, that's three. my favorite one, man. Carter yeah, Two. Carter Two. I think that's the hardest Carter. Hell See, yeah. I, I I I I be like torn between Carter One just off nostalgia. <laughs> like I remember the day that shit dropped. I remember riding around yeah. for like a month, like with that bitch on heavy rotation, bro. Yeah, nah, that first Carter was hard too. Let me walk you through the Carter, like, bro. That intro was just fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, being hell yeah, bro. He went crazy. He went crazy on the first album, man. So I, it's always a toss up for me, but I will say. Carter Two is definitely the stronger uh, project. Yeah, sure. I feel like when you um when you talk about like Carter's or Wayne, I feel like Carter One and Carter Two is like you can't go wrong with either one. Yeah, of they ones. neck and neck for real. Carter Two was stepping him as the best rapper alive. Yeah, he went he blacked out on that one. Yeah, yeah he blacked out. Yeah, I feel like Carter Two like when he when he dropped that like you couldn't say nobody was better than him because at the time Jay Z wasn't even nah he wasn't even rapping like that making music so yeah. like when that Carter One drop, I mean Carter Two drop, that shit was, Man, yeah. he just went on a run after that yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and what I what I liked about that run though was uh T I was actually promoting oh, yeah. himself as a. Uh, king of the south mm-hmm. yeah. and i always thought it was interesting because of course wayne to me is gonna be you know like he gonna be better you know yeah. what i'm saying like he would top ti for me um oh wayne knew he was better but i respect wayne for saying for yeah, not, yeah out of it too. right yeah. right he gave him the king of the south and wayne was like yo i just take the game like yeah. <laughs> uh that was a uh <clears throat> one of them house of the dragon moves bad, bad, bad. <laughs> so uh chop like yeah uh Oh yeah, Plies too. Oh yeah, Plies is a good one. Florida Legend. Florida Legend. Sure. One, Florida Legend. Uh, yeah. What were some of your songs about in the sixth grade? What you was rapping about, man? That shit was like probably cars, girls, <laughs> money. You remember anything? Balling. Huh? You remember any of it? Hell no, nah, I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When did you first uh, tell your peoples that you wanted to rap? Whether it be friends, family, you know. I ain't never really tell nobody like I wanted to rap for real. Yeah, I ain't really never. Oh, you just kept that shit on the low. You like. <laughs> yeah, but 
People yeah. knew I could rap though, cause you know niggas would just be freestyling, mm. or like niggas knew I had a notebook, and I'll spit that shit time to time. Yeah. Like, were you into like the? Uh, cause I feel like every rapper had a stage where they were like battling niggas and shit like nah, that. I ain't never gotten. In, 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 nah, I ain't never done. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, nah, that wasn't. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> so on um, fast forward to twenty twenty, like. What was the moment where you said, all right, fuck it. I'm I'm about to just take this shit serious. Shit, being in Atlanta, Mm. seeing seeing that shit firsthand. I'm in the studio. I'm in the studio every night. Shit. Mm. Shit of passion, shit. That shit fun, shit. I was like, fuck it. This shit can happen for real. For real. And then boom. Nigga making progress in this shit, so. So when you in the, when you were in the studio up in Atlanta and whatnot, um, what was that for you? Were you working with Seti? Were you? Um, yeah, he said would be in the studio. You feel me? And I'll just be with him every day. Would you say that at that time you were approaching it, soaking up the game, or yeah, were you just a part I was of soaking up the game, playing the cut? I wasn't trying to rap at first, for real, you feel me? And then, I just got in the booth. They had had peer pressured you? You said, fuck it. Nah, they ain't peer pressured me. One day they was like, get in the booth. Got (laughs) enough. Hey, that's all, peer pressure, to me. (laughs) The song, um, Us Song, with me and said. Yeah. Yeah, that. That's that was a, your first song? Yeah, that was the song, first song I recorded up there okay. in the studio. Hey, man, Seti Hendra, he's like one of the best rappers in the city. So For I sure. feel like yeah. that, going crazy. if you learn, if you're going to learn from somebody, that's that's somebody to learn from. So, nah, like, so nigga got, got the blueprint. When did you uh first tap in with Seti? Uh, t- 2018. 2018. 2018. Yeah, how y'all met? Up in Atlanta. Oh, okay. That's what's yeah, up. I just pulled up on, bro. Shit, locked in. Shit. That's what's up. And what yeah. kind of influence has uh said been for you? Oh, um, big like like what we just talked about learning the ins and outs of the, the, the rap game. Mm-hmm. You know, so, what you yeah, feel like he, the most important? Out of jewels, huh? What you feel like the most important thing you learn from SETI, or just um, like anybody in general in the rap game? Um, your craft, staying in the studio. Like niggas wasn't standing in that studio, but right. that boy would be in the every day like it was a nine to five. Yeah. Did some of the uh like some of his work ethic like rub off on you? Yeah. Um, niggas just be wanting to be in the studio, stand because I know if you stay in that studio, rep, rep repetition make perfection. So yeah, you stay in that studio, you just gonna sharpen that uh sword. You feel me? So. Yeah. Shit, I'm kidding. That that got me curious. So like, um, how long how long do you usually be in the studio, like to tap in? Um, at least four hours. I be I be trying to be in that bit at least four hours. If four I, hours a day. If I go in there, mm. you don't four hours at least. Yeah. I don't want to go in there. The door. Sure. Won't get the most of it. Nah, that's yeah. them leaving. Oh, that's them leaving. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hmm. I definitely but yeah, they definitely do be trying to stay in the studio. Yo. What's good? We got DJ Hariana in the building. <laughs> All right, so four hours. So like um you know, a normal studio session. Mm-hmm. How is it? Cause I don't rap, so I don't know nothing about mm-hmm. rapping in the studio or whatnot. How do you prepare right. yourself? How do you like pick your beats? Shit, I go through a pack. A producer send me swag or swagger, you feel me? Go through the pack. Mm-hmm. Whichever beat hit first, like I might just be mumbling some shit. And then the right beat just gonna think of a line quick, upload the beat, mm-hmm. get in the booth and just go. That's what's up. So you like, do you freestyle your shit or you just like, you write some of it down? Yeah, I'll be freestyling. I, yeah. I seem like the, I seem like the, uh, the technique now. Um, Punching in. 
Yeah, yeah, punch it. Yeah, yeah punch it in or not. I, I, yeah, I punch in. Have you ever tried like actually like writing it, like writing it down? I used to write. You feel me? But I just got in the habit of just going in there now. So mm. I don't try to write a song, but I can't. I can't sit there and write it. I, ain't. <laughs> I got you. So let me ask you this, man. For somebody that um, is new to you know your music and you know for our <laughs> listeners and such, what would you say one of your best records is? Ground for this, the song I just dropped. Uh, I think you can hear a lot of growth in that song. Yeah, bad, um, bad. My other songs that I've dropped. All right. So yeah, that's the one right now. All right, so we might as well go and play that video. But um, me personally, I feel like your your best song to me is Fox 10, so. Yeah, I'll, we, yeah, I'll get a lot of good um, feedback off that song. Yeah. Fox 10 hard. That yeah, sounds good hard. at the club. And then you got a couple of records on your um, EP that was dope as well. Um, Check and Easy stood out oh, like okay. a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah, made it on Tokyo out now. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it was a solid take, but with the music I got now, I'm ready to drop this new shit on y'all. How you feel like you grew from that project? A lot. A lot. Like you gonna hear it. Be everything so, beat wise. Beat wise. Rhyme rise. Rhymes, the pockets. Oh, that's flows, what's up. That's what's up, man. Substance. Yeah. How important would you say for those that are looking to rap or those that are pursuing a rap career themselves, um, how important would you say structuring your songs is? Cause um, you mentioned in the pockets, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, structure is important when it comes to a song, for sure. Um, <coughs> it's, I don't know, it'd be hard for me to speak on it because I don't really think that deep into it. Mm. So, but yeah, structure in your song. I don't structure my songs, but <laughs> I just go in, you feel me? But yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just, I feel you just go in the booth and like, it is what it is. Like, yeah, I just. I'm gonna say this. I mean, I commend you for you know your courses and the fact that you actually are making songs because we're seeing such an uprising today of like these takeoff records. You know yeah. what I mean? To where it's just the raps. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, that's one thing that I, I appreciate. I do, but I don't want to see the the artistry get lost right, in, right. in rap. Yeah, you know? yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I definitely be trying to put substance in. I mean, I feel like that's all I can put out is substance. I can't just go in there and just say anything. Yeah, put right, some right. bullshit out. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get into this grind for this video, man. Just tell us the story behind the video. You already told us how it came about, so let's. Yeah, paper trails. Um, we went to Miami and shot the scenes out there. So. Shit came out good. I had a ground for this. All of them nights I was down, I was out. I had a ground for this. Long nights in the studio, putting in work. I had put in some time for this. Long nights on the road with them balls, I was putting my life on the line for this. I had to ground for this. I had to put in some time for this. All of them nights I was down, I was out. I had a ground for this. Long nights in the studio, putting in work. I had put in some time for this. Long nights on the road with them balls, I was putting my life on the line for this. I had to grind for this, I had to put in some time for this. Put in time for this. Got the baddest bitch, fat fly nigga, got confidence. I went from having no money to having a lot. Love for the trenches, we still on the block. I'm all in the pussy, I got on my socks. Can't up in here, they needin' a mob. I'm everything you pussy niggas is not. I line you up, she gon' give me the drop. Me and F don't talk jail phone. Had to get the cell phone. Really seen chat with a stick for real. Play with Shetty, you gon' get hit for real. Shetty, my dog, and it's lit for real. Real walker on everything. Them bitches not exciting. I'm having hits like Tyson. Bitches in love like Bryson. All of my diamonds on lightning. I need gold off I need brand new diamonds. On the charts we climbing. I had a ground for this. All of them nights I was down, I was out. I had a ground for this. Long nights in the studio, putting in work. I had put in some time for this. Long nights on the road with them balls, I was putting my life on the line for this. I had to ground for this. I had to put in some time for 
there's some time for this All of them nights I was down, I was out I had to grind for this Long nights in the studio, putting the work I had put in some time for this Long nights on the road with them balls I put my life on the line for this I had to grind for this I had to put in some time for this Talking long nights on the road, yeah Up on the flight with my soldier Keep your eyes on the road and stay focused, mm. All of these bags, we got stuffed in the rental Try to cross straight and then I'll keep it simple It's a lot on the line, got a lot on my mind, mm. I had to grind for this Stack up my money and take my family I'm not tryna sign my wrist These niggas be tweaking, they all in the net And they getting out of line for this If you talking money, I spending no money I ain't got no time for that, nah I ain't got time for that Me and my soldier was posted up, we had the promise sold up In the back of the trap, I was bagging them sacks And you know I was pulled up Soldier walked in with the mag, he was drinking on juice He had four and it sold up Came a long way from the bottom, I'm climbing my way to the top I had told ya, I had to grind for this All of them nights I was down, I was out I had to grind for this Long nights in the studio, putting in work I had put in some time for this Long nights on the road, I'm all up Putting my life on the line for this I had to grind for this I had to put in some time for this All of them nights I was down, I was out I had to grind for this Long nights in the studio, putting in work I had put in some time for this Long nights on the road, with them both all Putting my life on the line for this I had to grind for this I had to put in some time for this That's hard. That hook catchy. Yeah. Appreciate that. That's a motherfucker. The video is dope too. <clears throat> yeah. You got that played in the club yet? Nah, nah, not yet. All right, let's go ahead and get into uh, Fox Ten real quick. <clears throat> A hundred peas to get locked in. He was dissing on the net, the reason he got boxed in. What the fuck you doing if you ain't getting no guapin'? Got shooters on call trying to put his ass on Fox 10. Ain't never do no favor for the gang, how you locked in? Quit to pass the play out to my dog, John Stockton. Arvin season come around the corner, so I'm stocking. I got a box of flavors coming in, we unboxing. Nico always putting a gun down, he like boxing. Balling on these bitches, counting green while I'm in Boston. I ain't 50 cent, but I got power like I'm Austin. Coughing, I'ma sip the syrup for the taste. You gon' find your blessings in these killers, just have faith. Sleeping couch to couch when I ain't had nowhere to stay. Me and Soldier win state to state for some plays. Got an Oklahoma plug, he got the bubbles from the bay. I done been through situations, I'ma make it shake I don't watch my brother turn a 10 into a 100k I don't watch my brother turn a Glock into a baby Drake I'm the type to sip it raw out the bottle Tryna fuck the baddest model I've been running on my commas, nigga Ain't shit changed, it's still chopped with a K Slaying them K's on my days up, nigga Gotta cop at least 100 P's to get locked in He was dissing on the net, the reason he got boxed in What the fuck you doing if you ain't getting no guapin' Got shooters on call, trying to put his ass on Fox 10 Ain't never do no favor for the gang, how you locked in? Quit the pass, the play out to my dog, John Stockton Harvest season come around the corner, so I'm stocking I got a box of flavors coming in, we unboxing the film right also for sure man yeah, yeah. Snapped on that video man so how that came about with the uh film right doing the video oh um, i forgot i think i hit him up mm. about shooting the um because he was doing a bunch of those yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, I was like, Damn, I feel like he stopped. He need to get back to that. He uh, like, he up in Atlanta, so he doing oh, when he okay. come back yeah. to the city and whatnot. Oh, yeah, okay. so I, you, I, I mean, shout out to him again because that man been working like <coughs> I put in some work with him. Uh, I want to say six years ago, starting out. You know what I mean? And um, to see his growth from then to now is just amazing, man. Yeah, but yeah, he went crazy with that for sure, for sure. So it's all uh, let backtrack, man. We ain't really uh, get a proper introduction to you, man. So where exactly are you from? Because you've been uh -huh. you didn't talked about we, we, before we recorded. <laughs> we were talking about Texas football. Did you just, just say you was in Maryland? So like, what's your background exactly? Tennessee. I was born in uh, um, Tokyo, Texas. Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, Tennessee. Mom, yeah, Tennessee yeah. fan. I didn't even realize I said that. Yeah, shit. I know what you meant. Oh, you, you say you were born? I was born in Tokyo. 
Oh, okay, that's what's up. Um, yeah, my pops was in the Air Force, so like, nigga moved around, moved around a lot. So mm. he was in Texas, Tokyo, Maryland, and Florida. That's crazy, bro. Like, how was it in? You remember being in Tokyo, living out there? Yeah, yeah. That shit, nigga, want to go back. Mm. Like, I just remember like the scenery, like that shit. Fuck. Do you have citizenship? Like, would you have citizenship? Know. I don't know. Haven't been. Uh, that's interesting. I was born in a Japanese hospital, so shit. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, bro, you don't want to question though. You don't want to go over there. They keep you. Your ass be in Tokyo for real. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be on hey. my ass. Yeah, you go over there. They be like, "Hey, man, you got drafted to the Tokyo <laughs> Army or some shit like that." <laughs> yeah, like, hell. No. They don't yeah. tattoos streaked as fuck over there. My mama be telling me so mm-hmm. that shit. You'd have to cover them. Yeah, yeah. Tokyo, that shit. This shit, uh, uh, the shit K-pop, huh. the K-pop band. Uh, I forget their name, um, but they gotta go to the military. Oh, you saw BTS. Yeah, BTS. Man, my sister, a huge fan of them. I'm like, you like this shit? <laughs> what you mean they had to go to the military? Oh, that shit mandatory, bro. Well, I don't know that they Japanese though. Oh, I, th- I don't think they, they are. Korean. Like, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I don't oh, think yeah, they that's are. That, yeah, in yeah, their country. Yeah, so them boys, they like they die, like they one of the hottest bands, and they gotta do the damn Korean military pop. for shit. That's crazy. Well, we gonna we gonna pray that when Chop go over there, he be all right. Bro. Yeah. yeah. So sure. at what what point did you move to Jacksonville? Um, sixth grade. Sixth grade, right, right. Yeah, sixth grade. How was it moving from like Japan and you say Texas? Then went back to Japan and Maryland. Yeah, that shit okay. Yeah. I could imagine you had a lot of stories to tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it being a black man in, in Japan or a black boy? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga went through a little bit of racist shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can imagine, man. Yeah. You was Kijara Bryant was in, like in that Japan. that Karate Kid I'm shit, I'm about to say bro. that, bro. That shit like Karate Kid. That shit kid. crazy, bro. The one with Jaden Smith. That nigga had to learn Karate. But then by the end of the movie, everybody fucking with him. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody doing no karate on you, did they? Nah. All right, man. <laughs> ain't pulling no katanas out. No, they ain't pulling. No <laughs> Nigga was fighting in that bit though. But. They had hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, getting drunk. Uh, yeah, shit, yeah. I ain't jump. You did. I uh, wouldn't want to go back. Yeah, that shit crazy. You might not want to go back, bro. Them bullies but probably made, them people. But, but but nigga made like that shit. Like okay, you fight. Then everything be like niggas be trying to be cool with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they respect you because you stood yeah, up for yourself. Yeah, so, yeah, that type of shit. You you know the like the language or anything or like how yeah, did you get I, I had to learn English. Oh really? Like, I knew how to speak it and shit, but I didn't know how to read and write. So Japanese is your first language? Yeah. <coughs> Say something. I mean, I can't speak. Oh, okay. Uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, I I was probably ignorant for asking you to speak something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know but, <laughs> some, but the same shit everybody else would be doing. You know, k- konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, Ni hao. <laughs> That's yeah. Chinese. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, Ben that's Simmons gonna be saying that. I'm gonna say Ni hao. Yeah, Ben Simmons about to be screaming Ni hao. <laughs> Russ too. Oh shit. That's about to happen. Hell yeah. Nah, I don't think, I don't know what's up with Ben Simmons, but that nigga Russ, that nigga definitely gonna be screaming knee how. I don't know, man. Somebody made a good point uh, that if you put Russ on a different team, they become at least playoff contenders. Mm. He has to have the ball. He can't He can't play through. Uh, like, he's not He's not an off the ball player. So, uh, the Lakers is a bad fit. Yeah, that shit looking sad right now. Yeah, he'll be all right, man. So um, that's interesting, man. <laughs> Grew up in Tokyo, that's fire. So like, that's why the project was called Made in Tokyo. Made yeah. in Tokyo, made it, so, yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. That's fire. So, um, when you're writing, right? Mm-hmm. What is some of your process? Do you just like are you shooting from the hip when you go in the studio, or 
do you already have concepts in mind do you i'll be doing that like i'll be having concepts and shit but they usually don't go how i be wanting them to and i end up doing some whole other shit so give us some backstory man um tell us about like how how uh fox 10 was written for you fox 10, yeah. i was at the crib i was in the room by, by myself the studio i just my 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 um my brother james sent me some beats and that beat stuck out and i recorded that bit yeah fox 10 might be your hardest like yeah and yeah, i don't go crazy i think and that's the only song for a while i'm like rapping like that for real yeah i fuck with it i fuck with it yeah yeah i fuck with that one heavy so um why you was talking about production you said your brother had sent you a beat yeah um jay jay ray loaded salute to hell how exactly like do you pick your production do you like are you one of the uh artists that like hop on youtube but you, you got like a partic uh particular like i used to producer. hop on, on on youtube but then my people started telling me you can't be doing that oh, okay and then producers i got like three four yeah like three producers <coughs> solid producer you were yeah, with yeah. and they just be sending me packs all the time shit, shit. so shout i can be loaded on beats shit, shout them out man yeah yeah j ray loaded um swag boy Mm -hmm. And um, Swagger Music. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hey, we, got, go uh, we got DJ Hariana in the building. How did y'all yeah. meet? Um, Hariana. Damn. How did we meet, cuz? They but, probably hey, met. We've been on for. By seeing uh, each other so many times. I was. That little TikTok skit. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't even know how we met, bro. But that's my brother, though. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. How long y'all been Nigga locked in, would you say? Huh? How long would y'all would you say y'all been locked in? Two. Two years? Going on three? Three years? Yeah, three years. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. Is he he a DJ? Yeah, man. Yeah, damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can say that. Yeah, I, I mean that's what I'll be t telling for. <laughs> DJ. Yeah, man, man, yeah. Man. <laughs> All right, so uh, like, how many performances you done did? Um, I I did a tour with um Sid Blue and um Tajay and another artist. Forgot her name. Oh, that's fire, man! Yeah, so how's that? Uh, how the tour life like? Um, so I can that, imagine, that bro. That's, that's crazy. You got like that shit was everything I imagined. I ain't gonna lie, city to city. City. So must be nice, uh, man. That's yeah. fire. Like you just drop everything, you just go from For city real? to city, yeah. doing what you love. Like yeah. that's that shit's fun. How you knew how I enjoyed it. At what moment well, I asked you, like, what's your favorite city you went to? And like what moment at what point in your life were you when you like were doing a tour? Um favorite city was probably North Carolina, I forgot what city. I think it was Hariana. What city was that? Raleigh. Raleigh North yes, Carolina. indeed. Shout out to that Raleigh, man. I One time it. for Raleigh. Yeah, Raleigh uh, hey, Houston I used to was turned too. Houston, yeah, I can imagine Houston fire. Yeah, Houston was turned. Raleigh, a good time, boy. Yeah, it yeah. was turned. Me and Joe had a legendary show out in Houston. When oh yeah, 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 <laughs> man. I was on stage. This chick, this drunk white lady, jumped on stage pulled out her titties and oh, and shit. was just like shaking them bitches on stage and like i'm still performing i'm like oh, yo shit. i can't let this shit stop my show yeah <laughs> i'm trying to nudge her off stage and nah. shit. like <laughs> <laughs> that shit is crazy man that's crazy that shit was crazy as hell she was running through the ball with her titties out that's crazy there ain't no crazy shit happen like that <clears throat> especially when you out of yeah. town <laughs> shit, I was hoping not on tour. We was just like in some uh, down bar or something yeah. right, with the shit. Yeah, chick, yeah. dude, that shit on on a, on an official tour. She getting her ass tackled or some shit. Oh yeah, that ain't about to go down. So, uh, how did you find out you was about to go on tour? Um, said, um, found out he was going on tour 
with Young Blue. Mm. And then, yeah. Yeah. Like, we finna go on tour. Yeah, That's sure. what's up. How was the experience opening up for, you know, you know, two that, two two big artists? That shit taught me um I feel comfortable on stage now. Like before I wasn't comfortable on stage. Like I ain't really have no stage presence. Right. But yeah, that shit putting in that work every night, that shit definitely I'm, made me made me more comfortable on stage. How many cities did y'all do? Um, like 20. That's a big tour. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was a, it was on the road for a minute. That shit was a long, long time. I ain't gonna lie. That's what's up. But I enjoyed it though. That shit was fine. Yeah. Shit, when you, you know, when you about to go back on tour? Hopefully soon, shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'll come. It'll yeah, come. Yeah. It'll come. Yeah. All about I'll it. Go again. That shit fine. I was about to play one of your videos of City, but let's do that uh Ain't About Shit with KG real quick. Uh-huh. How did this um how this song came about? Like oh, I don't know, KG. Oh, I was doing a little run down there, doing um little shows in um Miami. Mm. And one of my OGs linked me with um KG at a show. Yeah. Um we put the session that night and recorded that song. I did it. I did a video in Miami. Yeah, nah, Broward. Broward, okay. He from Broward. Okay. Shout out KG. Yeah. Salute. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not familiar with bro, but the song pretty good though. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate it. For sure. All right, let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Swag, you trying to get rich, huh? Talking all these bites like a nigga really stepping on some boy, a nigga ain't talking about shit. Talking like God, but a nigga really pocket watching on me, trying to figure how a nigga get rich. Nigga, I be running through the money, trying to flip a couple hundreds out, smoking out the bottom of the club. So she got a hundred in the chop, send a nigga to the dog to get the job, and then a nigga get flipped. Uh, look, let me tell you how I feel. I got five million streams without a fucking deal. Bitch, I'm really out here chasing dreams like I'm Meek Mill. Got the hoes falling from me, slipping on banana peel. I got shooters on the roof. Uh, Clay Thompson, Bradley Bill, running drills. Keep it spinning like a fucking Ferris wheel. Headache to the competition, pop a fucking ad bill. Chasing the paper, I'm right behind it like a fucking ad I got a bill. I ain't capping it. <laughs> I would never take a nil, never worry about shit, cause I'm always totally still. All these niggas trying to get KG, you want full gimme? He said, I'm gonna get the Kevin Garnett jersey. Yeah, yeah. I'm so cocky, I'm fucking your bitch, I take it to crew. Got me a new Cuban with the bust down, yeah, you know the dread is real. It was fitting. He's <laughs> going crazy. Yeah, he's shit getting shit. Shut the fuck up, don't be running your lips. All these blue hunters, I feel like a crib. Trusting these hoes, my nigga, you sell. Really stepping on some boy, nigga ain't talking about shit. Talking like God, but a nigga really pocket watching on me, trying to figure how a nigga get rich. Nigga, I be running through the mud, trying to flip a couple hundreds out, smoking out the bottom of the jump. So she got a hundred in the chop, send a nigga to the dot to get the job, and then a nigga getting flipped. Nigga getting flipped, I'ma send a nigga straight to the dot if a nigga play, nigga getting zooked. Cage, you got a problem, we gon' pull up, we gon' solve it, we gon' pull up with them choppers and the nigga getting hit. We gon' send a blitz and a lolo, I'ma pull up on a nigga dolo, shoot a nigga ass, take a photo. Get rich or die, try and be the motto. In and out my city, I been running up this money and it's looking like a lotto. Dumbing through this money, I been running up a check. Nigga play with me through your waist, through your vest. Nigga play with me, bullets flying through his neck. Put a switchy on the block, not showing like a tick. Soldier up, he ain't missing any aiming at his head. Soldier said he got the drop, I said, aye, that's a bitch. Soldier said he got the drop, I said, aye, pull it up. Pat touch down, not a block, sound he bite like a nigga, really stepping on. Some boy, nigga ain't talking about shit. Talking like God, but a nigga really probably watching on me, trying to figure how a nigga get rich. Nigga, I been running through the mud, trying to flip a couple hundreds out, smoking out the bottom of the jump. So she got a hundred in the chop, send a nigga to the dot to get the job, and then a nigga get flipped. Talking all these bite like a nigga really stepping on some boy, nigga ain't talking about shit. Talking like God, but a nigga really probably watching on me, trying to figure how a nigga get rich. Nigga, I been running through the mud, trying to flip a couple hundreds out, smoking out the bottom of the jump. So she got a hundred. Chop, send a nigga to the dot to get the job, and then a nigga get flipped. Yeah, this out on all all platforms. Yeah, that shit hard. Yeah, y'all both now.
Kate, yeah, that nigga KG went crazy, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, you put me on, I'm gonna tap in, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, this song sure. on his tape. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna have to check him out for sure. Tap in, man. Sure. So, uh, let me ask you, Chop Man, were you working on anything? You got any projects coming out? I know you just dropped a uh, uh, single with 24 Hours. So, yeah, I got a tape on the way. Um, I'm with Floatable Entertainment. Um, we got a tape coming. Um, I got a collab tape coming. Okay. Um, I don't want to put it out yet, but yeah. It's just coming. It. Yeah, it's coming. The song with 24 Hours gonna be on there? Or? Um, nah, nah, nah it's a whole, whole bunch of new music. All new shit. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah, Looking to forward it. to it, man. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So. All right, Joe, you got any more questions for Chuck, man? Nah, man, I think we asked them all. Um, Go ahead and let the people know where they can find you at. Yeah. And uh, So Chop, man, what we call that, Joe? The viral camera. Call that the viral camera, man. Yeah. Chop looking in that, Y'all plug everything. on all platforms. Chop with a K. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, all platforms. Chop with a K. Everything. 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 Make, sure, make sure y'all check out that single with 24 hours. Shit, all that shit, man. Just put Chop with a K. Put that into your uh the YouTube is gonna pop right up because this brother yeah. dropped so many videos. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. All that for all sure. That shit, all that for shit. Sure. So videos A1 quality, man. For videos sure, top man. of the line. So <coughs> I yeah. appreciate y'all having me for sure. Yeah, 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 up. Yeah, yeah. When we seen when we seen the first time, you said tap in, I tap yeah. in with you, man. Yeah, for like, sure. For no real, no real. cap over here, man. Yeah, no so. cap in the rep. That's real. All right, so man, this has been another episode of Random Acts of Podcast. Shout out to the big homie Chop with a K. Shout out my brother, Mr. Jefferson. It's been another ep- amazing episode of Random Acts of Podcast, man. We just getting started. We just got back interviewing and shit. We took a little break, man, but we gearing we, up. Yeah, man, we about to we about to step up. on niggas next, man. So yeah, salute would. one more time to Chop, man. Appreciate Round of applause. Man. Yes, sir. I talk to Chop, so soon we're going we'll to try and get a performance video in, too. So oh, yeah. Look out for that, y'all. Yes, indeed. With all that said, we out.